Good morning. Today I want to talk to you about planning and preparation. You know, I think about when I was uh, young and we went into exam situations and we literally would sort of almost rock up on the day having done some random revision, not really having a clue what we were going into and, and get it done. How different it is now. Um, during exam time, kids have marking schemes, they have all of the, that detail. Um, and it leaves them much better prepared and likely to get better results. Now, her, it may not have passed your notice that there's been a, a rather big football competition going on recently. Um, and uh, surprise, surprise, England doing rather better than we might have expected. And it's made me take a look at uh, Gareth Southgate and exactly what his approach has been and, and how is it different to what has gone before. Now, of course, they would have had planning and pre preparation in, in all teams at all times. But he seems to have taken something really critical with him. And that's a real understanding of what hasn't worked in the past. And as a result of that, he's put a different way of doing things in place. So, for example, taking penalties, it, I think it's been really, really well publicised that all of the team members have done a lot of practice on taking penalties. Perhaps in the past it was seen as a bit defeatist to practice penalties, but actually it's a reality and it's certainly borne fruit. Um, I listened to Gary uh, Lineker and Alan Shearer talking about, about that very thing. You know, why haven't we practiced penalties before? Well, if those guys are saying it, it definitely is something different. There's all sorts of other things he's done about hydration and uh, psychological profiling and all sorts of things to make sure that people aren't left on their own. And there's an amazing team spirit that's coming across loud and clear throughout all of the games. So it got me to thinking about our businesses and about, you know, there are things that don't necessarily work at all times and, and how good are we at taking the lessons for from what hasn't gone so well and working out how it could be done better and then properly picking it to pieces and planning and preparing to make things work differently in future. Interestingly, the other thing that Gareth Southgate has done is he's really managed the perception of the outside world. At the beginning, he just said, oh, they're a young team. They're not expected to, to win. You know, really, we're just giving them an outing to see what they can do and to prepare them for four years' time. They've invited the press in. They've been, instead of keeping them at arm's length, they've just been part of the community. They've just, they've been allowed to have fun and join in and, and just generally having a relaxed atmosphere. He's taken control of the way the outside world is looking at the team. And you know what? With good planning and preparation, you can do that with your business or your career as well. You can take control of how the outside world sees you. So, my challenge to you today. What is it from the past that you know didn't really go, go well? And what have you done to do things differently? And how are you going to plan and prepare and take control of the way the outside world perceives you. Come on, England! <laughs> <laughs>